Good morning, you guys. Yesterday was a long one. We got all the boulders delivered. I got one of the walls tore apart and one of them rebuilt. I ended up working till one in the morning, cleaning up the site, but it's a fresh new day and we've got the most challenging side to do today. And I say it's the most challenging side because A, we're, it's the longest side, but B, we've already used up the most choice boulders on the other side. Of course we did that, of course. You always pick the best boulders right out of the gate and use those and leave yourself the scraps for the biggest part of the wall. That's just guilty, every equipment operator is guilty of doing something like that. So, with less materials to choose from and more wall to build, let's jump right off into today's project. So one of the easier ways I, I'm doing this is I come up to my pile and I grab a boulder and then I put it out here and I drive all the way around it. I flip it and rotate it and I get it imaginarily positioned into the wall the way I want it and then I pick it up from the opposite side up here so that I get it positioned so wherever I just drive in I can hopefully just set it down so let's check this boulder out and see which position we want it this is going to be a corner piece so it's one of the larger boulders and it's got to slide right into the corner and this is our best choice for this so let's just take a peek at it and see what we got I don't think I gave you before yet. So there it is before. <laughs> and what we don't want is a wall. We don't want this vertical straight up and down. And before what we had was a wall that came out here and another wall that came out here. And this is more of what we're trying to do. Kind of more of a settings, more of a naturalistic. We want to try to incorporate the house right into the whole landscaping. This side's not done yet and so let's get this side going and what we're going to do on this side is an s-curve come out and then snake in so i'm going to cut groove cut a groove in right through here so that so that the tree now becomes its own separate island and this has a spot to go between we'll see in theory if that works
came up on a past video was dirt monkey where's your filter fabric behind the retaining wall well that was a modular retaining wall made out of concrete blocks and I don't recommend ever using filter fabric vertically behind the face of a modular retaining wall they're designed to allow the water to weep equally through the face and by placing filter fabric vertically behind the face of a modular retaining wall you create hydrostatic hot spots which can create micro blowouts which will lead to problems. But on a boulder wall like this, fabric is optional. I don't prefer fabric because I like to be able to have deeper planting beds. But if you have especially sandy soils, you may want to opt to have boulder fabric placed behind that retaining wall. That will help keep the joint spaces from leaking soil and making a dirty retaining wall. But if you don't use those that filter fabric behind the retaining wall, you will need to plant those joint spaces to make sure that you retain the soil and nothing comes out between the boulders. it the first time that's pretty much how I wanted her let's see if it, if it passes the butt test does it pass the butt test uh, perfect height I can swing my legs now I can walk up oh yeah Sit stone one installed. One and you're done. Yeah, I can do that every time. No. But I do gotta backfill it. Bring it up. I may put a character stone in there or I may just leave it dirt. That might make a great spot to put some plants, soften up all this stonework. Mmm. A good spot. Let's do the other side. They're making a nest up in my soffit. I can't even finish it. All right. Well, one of the things that I want to say that was told to me by a very wise man, his name was Brian from Aquascape. He told me, don't get married to a stone. Give it two, three flips. If it doesn't fit, don't get stubborn with it. Move on. And it's easy to get married to a stone. You look at one and you think, this one I was married to. I was 100% sure that this stone was going to match up on the opposite side of the door with that seat stone right there. So they would frame that door. Didn't work. 
had to pick a different one. Didn't give it too much time. You just don't give it too much time because you'll get stuck in a, in a rut. But we're stuck in a rut right now, you guys. We got a lot of the stuff put in place, but now it's time to grade and clean up and just start working the site. And then we're gonna find where the details come in. We're gonna find where we gotta add an extra stone here or there. But if I just stay in boulder placement mode right now, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I need to come in here and start working this and cleaning it up and then not being afraid to grab a stone here or there and add it if I see fit or don't touch it if I don't, right? This is a creative process. This is just about letting the juices flow and letting it go. And that's what we're gonna do now. So sometimes when I get stuck in a rut, I'll just switch gears for a little bit and then come back to whatever I was stuck on later on. Do you know what time it is? Hmm? It's time for a fuel run. Time for a fuel run. You wanna go with? Come on. Let's go get some fuel. We're out. Sure would be nice if I took the time to get a transfer tank in the back. I'll probably do it after all the work out here is all done and I don't need it anymore. Come on, Lucy, hop in. You gonna stay here with Frankie? What do you want to do? You staying or are you going? I don't care. You don't know, do you? Some of you guys may have watched the saw milling video. If you have it, Matt from Custom Ruben's Custom Saw Milling and I. That's all the log siding. We cut that. Now we're drying it. So we gotta dry it, rotate it, flip it smack its butt and lay it upside down. Look who decided to join me after all. Listen to her. She whines as soon as I walk away. That's what she does. And it gets worse. So some of you guys asked me about my gas cans. They're just shirt cans and I do think they're the best gas can out there. Absolutely love them. Some of you guys want to know where you get them at. I don't know, I think I've seen them at Fleet Farm and hardware stores. I know they're expensive, but it's one of those cans that are worth it. Now, can you behave? I'll go in and get you a sandwich. If you can behave, I'll get you a sandwich. Huh? Can be a good girl? That's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm going to get you a sandwich. You're gonna have half. You don't deserve it, you are noisy. Here. Lead up. All right, let's get back to work. Some of you may be asking, Dirt Monkey, why are you taking out boulder walls to replace them with other boulder walls? What the heck is going on with that? Well, here's the deal. These actual stones that I'm using in the new boulder walls are indigenous to the area. And there's a park down in Sandstone or over in Sandstone, Minnesota called Robbins Park. And it's just one of my favorite places on planet Earth. And I use it as inspiration for this wall. And it uses a lot of the native sandstone from the area. And so I'm trying to duplicate some of the settings, some of the environment that I found there, trying to make more of a naturalistic setting style of a feel to this landscape.
All right, you guys, the next phase is to finish the grade. I've got everything cleaned up. Now I don't have any obstructions. Most of the wall is built. I've got one extra stone left over right here that I plan on moving and getting out of the way. Um, but now let's get all the contours to blend. The idea with this tree thing right here is I don't like that whole ring around a tree of boulders. I just don't think it looks right. So I created a little walkway between the two and now I'll blend and make that flow down so it's almost like its own little island. It's just an artistic touch. Who knows if it'll turn out or not. Let's pop you guys up on the top and let's get to grading and just see what happens. So this is just the initial grading, which does not address any of the problems with water around the site. The entire site has a lot of issues that still need to be corrected. But by doing this initial grading where I'm in my work zone, it allows me to get a better perspective of what the potential finished product on this retaining wall will look like. Good, bad, and in between. It just helps me to clear things up so I can see what I've got to do in the next phases of this landscaping project. All of these retaining walls are far from finished. They still have to be towed in. Then all of the joint spaces where I plan on putting plants have to be filled in with organic material so that everything balances out. Plus, the backfill on these retaining walls all has to be evened out and recontoured to direct water away from the retaining wall. Lucy, what do you think? Does it look good? Are we graded out? Yeah, are we good? Okay, okay, good, good. Well, hey, enough, enough, enough. Quiet, quiet now, you old gray mare. Okay, you guys, well, we still got touch-up work to do. You know, we gotta, we gotta grade, we gotta get in between all the crevices and level everything out, and then we gotta plant and landscape and mulch. When you give a mouse a cookie, it always goes to the next step. I've gotta seed this thing, but uh, I think our walls are done. They look pretty decent. I got my grades established. I'm not 100% set on this. If I want to change this up I got extra stones up top I can grab some of them I do like how this came out it's of course after I get all the sand cleaned off from it it'll look a lot better and some of those scuff marks you see those bright white marks those disappear over time believe it or not they do that's called weathering those just go away after a little while and there she is. Lots more work to do at Shangri-La. Lots more work. What do we find? An old Schmidt beer can. The brew that grew with the Great Northwest. Everybody knows that one. There you go. And that's our video for today, you guys. Hope you had fun. I did. I had fun. It was a fun day. So, with that being said, we've got more to do. we got more out here, more at Shangri-La. We're going to be going over to Shangri-La Douche. And we are going to be going to town over there. I went over there yesterday. There's a lot of work to do. Trust me. But, one thing at a time, you guys. And that means hit that subscribe button. Because there's going to be a lot more action here. And we're going to go check in with my crew back in the cities and see how they're doing and take it away. That's it for today.
God bless. Go get them, you guys. Hopefully, we'll see you in another one.